Francis Patrick. You know, it has been a Baltimore tradition for more than four decades. That is the B. Gaddy organization serving a Thanksgiving dinner for those in need. And although B. Gaddy has passed away, the need is still strong. And WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison tells us the desire to help is just as robust. A need to feed her family in 1981 turned into a yearly event and charitable organization, the Patterson Park Emergency Food Center. Now, 41 years later, the B. Gaddy organization feeds more than 1,000 people a year. B. Gaddy died in 2001, but the drive of her daughter, Cynthia Brooks, and the volunteers continues on. This is her legacy. Renee Kennelly has been a volunteer for the last seven years. I get grace and I get... Um... I get joy. I get to do something that my mom did. My mom loved to cook. I get to also carry on my mother's legacy of, you know, feeding and, and helping in the communities. Kyle Gruby has come by here to drop off food for years to help. He feels blessed and he wants that for other families. People need to eat. People need a good Thanksgiving. People want to have fun. It's all part of holiday and, and spirit. B. Gaddy you know, organization has been helping out Baltimore for decades, but it's not just a Thanksgiving thing for B. Gaddy. No, it's a 365-day year thing. Even when we're not here, they answer the phone. Mondays between 10 and 12, you can come and sign up to get food, which will guarantee you a bag of food every week. Okay, and shelter, you call and see if we have anything available. This close to Thanksgiving, the food donations have been steady, but other things are more important at this time. We need money right now. Yes, because we are, of course, we have trucks and then you have um, little items like maybe uh, pans and napkins and, you know, ut utensils, things like that, that we will still have to buy. The holidays can be hard for some, but the solution can be easy for others. Help people that need help. Pretty simple. In Baltimore City, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.